My YouTube has really been blowing up in the last three months. I've gone from 34,000 views in April to over 130,000 views in June. And it's just, it's been a ridiculous, ridiculous journey. I love YouTube and I think it's such a fun thing to do. And I wanted to make a video explaining to you how the YouTube algorithm works for a small time YouTuber like myself, because I'm not a big time YouTuber. I'm not getting millions of views. Before I tell you how I got more views, firstly, let me just introduce to myself. I'm Shimmy Morris. I make videos on print on demand, Amazon FBA, how to make money, and I guess now apparently on YouTube. So if you're interested in any of these videos, and you probably are because you're watching this one right now, hit that subscribe button, you know, join the fam, and uh, let's get cracking on with this video. Now, the YouTube algorithm is an incredibly complicated topic for everyone, especially for small-time YouTubers who struggle to even get maybe 100 views. And I wanna break down the YouTube algorithm into five sections. Those sections are click-through rates, watch time, likes, comments, and tags. I want to talk to you about these five sections and hopefully by the end of this video you will be, you know, you'll understand in a much better way how you can actually succeed with your YouTube channel. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, then get on and make one. Mastering these five areas will 100% get you more views. Now, I'm not promising that you're going to be getting hundreds of thousands of views. Even I don't get hundreds of thousands of views. I'm talking about just kickstarting your videos, getting a few thousand views per video, you know, really just helping your videos out a bit. I'm not talking about millions of views. And if you're sitting there wondering, hmm, this is just a tiny YouTuber, he gets barely any views. Well, look, you, you know, in a way you're right, and that's just a really hurtful thing to be thinking. But, but really and truly, I, used these methods, right? I started empl employing these methods on my most recent videos. And you can actually see these videos, which have basically no views, right? They're rubbish. Now, these videos, which are starting to get really good views, makes a difference. So let me quickly tell you about it. And look, I know I'm a small YouTuber, but there's no reason why you can't get advice from a small YouTuber. Click-through rate, what is it? Well, click-through rate is basically when someone searches for a video on YouTube, or maybe even shows up on their home screen, and what percent of those people who actually see your video in the scroll down and click it, right? You want to have a pretty good click-through rate. Now, I've spoken to people and I found out that 7% is a pretty good click-through rate on your videos, right? Now, on this video, you can see I got a 16% click-through rate in the first couple of hours, and then it slowly went down to 11%, because obviously the more views you get, the, the lower the click-through rate will go, because YouTube is showing your video to more people. So there's obviously going to be less people that actually click it. How to increase your click-through rate? Well, there are two main factors that, you know, factor the click-through rate. That is the title and the thumbnail. These two areas will drastically change how big your click-through rate is, and you can actually see what it does. Look at this video, right? This video, I had a thumbnail, and you can see this was the old thumbnail. This is the new thumbnail, and now it's showing up for number two for this main keyword of print on demand on YouTube, which is pretty big in my mind, and it's got like over 50,000 views now. I think that's pretty awesome. So let's just quickly discuss the title. You wanna make sure your title actually has keywords and tags in it and at the front of the title, because the beginning of the title actually holds the most weight. So don't have your main keyword towards the end of the title, because it won't show up as well in the search algorithm. And if you're thinking, oh, don't worry, Shimmy, I'm just gonna do a massive clickbait. Clickbait does not work for small channels. For example, if you title a video, this made me cringe, right? That has no keywords. And unless you have millions of subscribers and you're gonna get tons and tons of views from your subscriber base, which will then in push you up the listings on YouTube, if you don't have that and you're just relying on the search and people looking and finding you, you have got to include actual, you know, searchable terms in your title. So don't do clickbait. Clickbait is bad especially for new people. Then you want to work on your image. So what you can do here is you can actually search for what other people are doing. So you can, you know, search your video, see what all the other images look like, and you want to try and stand out. Maybe your background should be yellow. Maybe it should be green. Maybe it should be a computer background. Who knows? But my point is you should try and stand out a bit. And another thing that you want to add to your image is a picture of a face, preferably your face. That makes the most sense with your eyes looking at the camera, looking at the audience, because people are drawn 
in two eyes. Okay, so if you can do that, that will be really, really good. I've recently started to change the way I do my thumbnails. I used to have them like this, now I have them like this, and I'm getting a much higher click-through rate. I'm getting a lot more views. As you can see, these videos have got a few hundred views. These videos are getting thousands of views, so it really does make an absolutely massive difference. And then in terms of words on your, on your thumbnail, this is where you can clickbait just a bit. So you don't want to clickbait on the title, but you want to add some sort of clickbaitiness to the thumbnail. Obviously, you still want it to be true. You don't want to be lying to anyone, but you want to try and keep it to three to four words. You don't want to have an entire essay on your thumbnail because you can't really see it. And a good trick here is once you've created your thumbnail, zoom it all the way out to the size of a thumbnail on YouTube and see if it's still readable. If it's not readable, then change it, right? You need it to be readable so people can actually see it and click through it to it. Now let's discuss watch time. What is it? Well, basically it's the average of how long people actually spend watching your videos. I think mine is about five minutes or six minutes, something like that. It's not crazy, but it's around five minutes. And the reason watch time is so important is because the more, the, the longer someone spends on your video, the more YouTube thinks, oh, this is actually a pretty good video. It's engaging, people are enjoying it. Let's show it to more people, right? And that's how you without a doubt, get more views. Well, how do you increase your watch time? If your watch time is terrible, how do you increase it? Well, the main way to increase it is just to, you know, try and be a bit more enthusiastic, add cuts, add graphics, add effects to your videos. Just try and make the video less, you know, boring talking to the camera like this. Try and, you know, have some expression, make it fun, make it interesting. And a really, really cool trick, which people just don't seem to realize is, a lot of the time people spend the first couple minutes making the video as glamorous as possible and then it slowly dies out and towards the end of their video it's just them talking to the camera. What you should actually do is have a look at what your average watch time is. So let's say my average watch time is five minutes, okay? What I will do in the editing process is when I get to about four minutes onwards, that is when I'll start putting all the different effects and the cuts and trying to make it as interesting as possible and as enthusiastic as possible because that's where people drop off. People aren't dropping off in the first four or five minutes, so I don't need to make the first four or five minutes incredibly entertaining, do I? What I do need to do is make the last five minutes, the last six minutes, incredibly entertaining because that is where people are dropping off. Does that make sense? I just People don't seem to do this and it just seems like such a, a basic thing to do, right? So have your cuts and have your graphics and have your titles pop up. Have that all after three, four minutes where people tend to drop off. But obviously it depends. You have to look at your stats and see where, what your average watch time is. Moving on to likes and comments. What is this? Like, if I have to explain this, I just, like, where, what have I been doing? Likes and comments, basically someone likes the video, someone comments on the video, is this good? Does it make a difference? Let's discuss. Well, yes, obviously this does make a huge difference because it shows YouTube that people are engaging with your video, people are enjoying your video enough to leave a comment or to leave a like. And in YouTube's mind, in the algorithm, it will push your video further up the listings, it will push your video to more viewers because if people are commenting, YouTube thinks, oh, other people will comment, other people will enjoy it as well. And it, without a doubt, it will get you more views. So how do you increase your likes and your comments? Well, the only way to increase your likes and comments is just to ask. You want to include in your video thought-provoking questions and ideas and topics that people can actually leave a comment about. So for example, if you think this video is brilliant, leave a comment down below. If you think it's rubbish, leave a comment down below. And if you agree with anything I've said so far, then give this video a thumbs up. It's that simple. You just want to make sure you're asking your audience to leave a comment and to like the video. If you don't ask, you're not going to get. And make sure you try and ask in the first couple of minutes because again, you wanna ask before that drop-off period of, you know, so watch time is five minutes, you wanna ask in the first five minutes so that you get even the people that drop off leaving a comment or potentially even liking your video. Since I've been doing this, I've noticed my likes shoot up drastically. I've noticed my comments shoot up drastically. It genuinely makes a massive difference. And finally, let's discuss keywords and tags. What is this? Well, firstly, keywords and tags, this is what you put in your description, you put in the title and you put in the back end, and this will help YouTube categorize your video so that it shows up for the right search terms to the right audience, in simple terms. How do you use keywords? Well, firstly, you want to, in your title, use the keywords, and like I said earlier, you want the main keyword to be in the first part of your title. So don't have a super long title with the main keyword being at the end. Try and keep your title short and snappy. Don't repeat keywords because you don't need to. So, for example, I wouldn't title this video, how to get views on YouTube, 
the best YouTube tutorial. I don't need YouTube twice. So make sure you use this feature properly. Now you can do research based on other people's videos. So if you're creating a video in a certain topic or something, look at other people's videos, see what keywords they've used in their title, their description, and even their backend, you can download something like vidIQ or what is it called? TubeBuddy, if you wanna see what keywords they're using in their backend, and you can simply copy and paste their keywords onto your video if you really, really want. But just have a look at how other people do it. In the description, you want to have a few different keywords that relate to your video in the first paragraph, and it's pretty good to have two paragraphs of text in your description. And that is pretty much it for keywords. Again, you can change this up, you can try different titles, you can try different backend keywords, but you really have got to focus on keywords because if you don't do keywords right, your video will not rank and you need your video to rank to get views. Now there is one secret hidden tactic that nobody knows about. Literally, this is the most incredible secret tactic that just no one knows about. It's called the element of luck. Okay, I know, sorry, I bigged that up too much, but the element of luck is a real thing on YouTube. And you can see from this video where I've got basically no views to this video where I've got a lot of views, I did the exact same thing for both of them. So what is the element of like, how does this impact you? Well, like I said, you can do everything right and still get very few views. The only thing I'll say is stay consistent, don't let it put you down because hopefully nine times out of 10, these tactics and these ideas will work for you because it is a science and it will without a doubt increase your chances of getting views because yes like i said there's an element of luck but and it's this insta post actually portrays it perfectly is no matter if there is an element of element of luck you have to put in the effort to increase your chances to actually get lucky, right? If you don't do any of this, then forget getting lucky, you're not gonna do well. Maybe you will, but then you'll get really lucky. But my point is, if you do this, you are, you are increasing the chances of actually getting views and getting lucky, so to say, on YouTube. In conclusion, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it made sense. I hope these ideas made sense to you. If anyone asks me now what, what, they, what they should do, if, they, if I have any business tips for them, any business ideas for them, I tend to ask them what their hobby is, what they enjoy doing, and then I kind of follow up with, well, you know, maybe you should just make a YouTube channel. Because people don't realize the window of opportunity that YouTube actually brings. You get a lot of, you know, kids and what, teenagers who say they want to be YouTubers when they grow up, and adults look down upon them and are like, oh, just grow up kind of thing. And I think that is just so wrong because especially nowadays you can see YouTubers are literally changing the way people do business on such a huge level. Everyone is on YouTube, literally everyone is on YouTube. And the window of opportunity within YouTube is just brilliant. So where am I going with this? Well, I absolutely love YouTube and I just, I feel like I've learned a lot, especially in the last three months on YouTube. And I would love to bring you more content on YouTube things from, you know, how to create videos, how to edit videos, how to do a setup, how to increase watch time, um, how to structure your videos, how to get subscribers, all these different things I would love to share with you, but I don't know if it's something you want to see. I don't know if a YouTube channel is something you want to build, but I think if you have any sort of knowledge on anything, any sort of hobby, you should build a YouTube channel. And if you do want to see any future YouTube content, then let me know in the comments down below. I would love to create YouTube content for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've explained things clearly for you. And yeah, I've got just so many ideas to share with you and help you create your YouTube account. And like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a big YouTuber. I've got at the moment like 14,000 subscribers. I, I'm, 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 in no, I'm, I'm not trying to like, fake the fact that I'm this humongous YouTuber, I'm not. But all I will say is I have learned a ton, especially in the last three months on YouTube on how to get more views, how to get more subscribers. And you can see because three months ago I was getting 30,000 views a month and now I'm getting 130,000 views a month. It does make a massive difference, all these things I've learned and I would just love to share them with you. So like I said, if you are interested in any YouTube content, if you wanna learn anything about YouTube, let me know in the comments down below and I will let you go for now. So my videos come out Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.